We are back with more Ark the Animated Series, and today we will be doing a review of Episode 3. This episode picks up immediately where I left off in Episode 2 with May and Helena having an encounter with John and his scouts. May says that she has a new weapon that can unite the Alliance and take down Nerva. However, John tells her that she needs to leave. A new character enters the conversation as introduced as Lassie, John's daughter. She invites Helena and May back to the village for dinner and refers to May as the Beast Queen. The Beast Queen, as we know in Ark lore, is because May was the first one to tame a Giga. But John agrees to dinner because his daughter asks. They have an unusually peaceful travel through the Redwoods, no Thylas in sight, while riding on their Diplos. For some reason, they're all riding separate Diplos versus all piling onto one, but... That's okay. They then arrive at the treetop village that has multiple levels and an elevator. We also get to see the Rexes in this village for the first time, and we notice that these Rexes do not have the same scars as Nerva's Rex, so clearly they are well taken care of. Another new character quickly enters the conversation and threatens May with a crossbow. We find out that this is Henry, and he is quite upset about what happened with May and the Alliance. May continues to try and convince them that this new weapon, the tech rifle they got for beating the Broodmother, will unite the Alliance. However, a more pressing concern arises. People in John's village are getting sick. They refer to the sickness as the Swamp Fever. However, they have no idea how they got it. In the game, however, we do know that it is passed from one person to another, or from a tamed dodo. Helena uses the last of the medicine to help one of the survivors heal. However, they quickly die afterwards. Everyone immediately realizes the impact the sickness could have on their future. So, they set their sights on trying to find a cure. It sounds like there were blue flowers that were used to make a cure before, however, they are no longer in abundance. They come to the conclusion that a bird on the top of the mountain who eats those flowers could have passed down the healing properties to its eggs. They came to this conclusion because of Helena's background in science. Lassie then shows Helena her skill with a bow. She mentioned that because of a kid, she was not invited on expeditions, but she practiced to become really, really skilled, so the village would have to include her on their adventures. Helena then attempts to use a bow, but does not possess the same skill. She quickly whiffs her shot, and Lassie starts to laugh, and then immediately coughs. This is foreshadowing in the events of later in the episode. Helena, May, Lassie, and John set out to climb the mountain in pursuit of this blue egg. As they're climbing the mountain, the rock beneath Helena's pit crumbles, and she falls down the cliff. She manages to catch herself on one of the below cliffs, however, she is surprised by the appearance of a Dimorphodon. It knocks her off her cliff, down to a lower level, where there are more Dimorphodons waiting. Lassie, John, and May quickly react and start shooting the Dimorphodons as they swoop into attack. One after another falls to the swift arrows being unleashed until finally everything has settled down. They all regroup and then are immediately attacked one last time. May being the warrior she is, she quickly pulls out her blade and thrusts it straight into the creature, disposing of the last remaining threat. After all this excitement, they decide to set up camp on a nearby large cliff just a few levels above. They then find out that Lassie has already contracted the Swamp Fever, but she did not want to tell anybody about it because she felt she was going to be excluded from this trip. They decide that it's too dangerous for her to keep going, so Helena and Lassie stay behind, and John and May set out in search for the egg. They arrive to the summit of the mountain, but they have to sneak past a punch of Pterodon Nest to find and locate this egg. As they see the blue egg there on the horizon, they head on over to its nest, and May climbs up into the nest and is about to leave, but is confronted by a giant dragonfly which potentially could be a Mega Nura. She makes quick work of it with her blade, however, the fight does alert the PTs to their presence. They immediately look to make a run for it. However, one of the Pterodons gains on them is just about to attack. However, Lassie shows up with Helena to save the day. A well-placed arrow knocks a creature down. John then immediately gets knocked off a cliff, and May gets picked up and carried away by a Pterodon. Lassie collapses and becomes vulnerable, leaving Helena as the only one there to protect her. A nearby PT sees this as an opportunity and goes for the attack. Helena musters up the courage and picks up her bow and attempts to save her, but her arrow misses the mark. Just as everything seems bleak, Helena takes one last deep breath, relaxes, and releases the arrow, and the PT collapses there, just a few feet from Lassie. However, as she tries to help her up, the PT starts to get back up, but May shows back up, and being the badass that she is, she goes Ultra Instinct and snaps the PT's neck. John then comes back up from below, where he got knocked down on the back of a PT. He had used a rope to right the creature. They all hop on and then head on back down to the village with the egg in hand. Lassie collapses yet again and they rush to her aid. The PT will then fly away and he's flying away with disgust as he was used basically as a flying taxi. As Helena attempts to break open the egg to heal Lassie, it starts to crack and a baby flyer comes out. They then scoop the blue goo and feed it to Lassie. The taste was awfully long lasting but the healing properties took effect immediately. Ready to celebrations are about to take place, a woman stumbles out of the nearby woods. Helena recognizes her as another survivor 
Carter, who escaped nervous encampment with her. She falls down in front of them, and then a yell can be heard in the distance. The woman was being pursued by one of Nerva's men, riding a Palavia. In stylish fashion, John picks up his bow, Mae kicks up her lance into her hands like a ninja, and they attack at the exact same time. John's arrow dismounted the rider, and Mae's thrown spear crushes the beast in its tracks. Now that all the threats have been eliminated, they go through and they talk amongst themselves. They decide they're going to keep the baby flyer, and they also realize there is a mining encampment nearby that would need to be liberated. And this is where episode 3 ends. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and consider subscribing to see more art content.